Good evening. Thanks for choosing Northeast Arkansas News. I'm Nick Smith. After a judge said the school districts could create their own mask mandates, many districts moved to put policies in place. In tonight's top story, Northeast Arkansas News' Sarah Dones spoke with two districts that will require masks in school. Well, that's right, Nick. Both the Mark Tree School District and Jonesboro Public Schools are just two districts in the area that will require masks on their campus. Both superintendents say it's about safety and keeping students in in-person learning this school year. Taking kids out of school for, for 2,800 absences, 2,900 absences, and you add 400 teacher absences on top of that in different days, the, the loss of learning it is so significant. I want our teachers and I want our kids in the building and I want them in the building as healthy as possible. Everyone must be masked up in school buildings and on buses. Once given the authority to create a mandate, Superintendent Wright went to work. He says requiring masks gives district leadership more control over the situation. The fact that we didn't have that control, it was scary because we knew we were going to be dealing with a situation that was going to be just potentially disastrous, uh, not only with kids getting sick, or maybe they wasn't sick, but just the number of kids that were going to be quarantined. Superintendent Roy and Jonesboro Public School Superintendent Dr. Kim Wilbanks say the reaction from the community regarding the mandate has been positive overall. With new guidelines, both districts hope to limit the number of days in quarantine if one comes in contact with somebody who has tested positive. JPS will require students and staff to wear masks regardless of vaccination status. With the continued increase in the number of COVID cases, and then just the sentiment that was expressed in our community, 70% of our faculty, staff, and parents all requested a mandate. All were in favor of that. Both districts are prepared to switch to virtual learning if needed. For students returning to a JPS classroom this fall, it will look familiar. Our students wore masks in the spring. Um, they're going to come back with those continued safety precautions in place, that additional cleaning, um, continuing with assigned seating, uh, continuing with a lot of procedures that help us for contact tracing. Now I did speak to some parents off camera who say they welcome the mandate due to the rising number of COVID-19 cases. Now both school districts will meet again in 30 days to determine if this mandate will stay in place. Sarah Doe, Northeast Arkansas News, Jonesboro.